What's up guys? It is early in the morning. It's still dark outside. We are getting the truck out of the horse barn. We're down here at the ranch in Kansas. We're finally back to tournament fishing. Uh, it's March, middle of March, March 14th, 15th, 16th, something like that. Um, middle of March and we've had one derby so far this year. So it's been a long uh, beginning of the year. Had the one down in Florida um, as you guys probably watched and now we're getting back after it's starting to get real busy here we are going down to table rock lake right now we're actually fishing a team tournament here uh, we're gonna go down the team tournament isn't for another week it's, it's on saturday it's monday today but we're gonna go down there we don't need that much practice but we're gonna go down there just to go have fun man it's supposed to be super nice weather and we're just excited to get down the water and uh you know just get back in the groove of things so we're gonna get the boat hooked up we're gonna make sure greg's out of bed and we are going to hit the road and get down to the table rock. Outside and the boat garage is empty. Where are we going? Table Rock. Well, we just made it to the lake. Uh, we're down here at Porta Kimberling. Um, super nice spot. If you guys haven't been here before, uh, they got a really nice RV park. We're actually staying at these little cabins here. Boat ramp right there. Uh, sorry about the wind. It's, it's super windy here today, so it's blow like 15. It looks like gusts of up to 20. But so here's home for the next week. Get enough room here to park both trucks and boats. Got a little tiny home. Uh, we've actually stayed here quite a few times. I think this is the fourth or fifth time in this cabin. We always try to get this cabin just because the parking's really good. Um, a handful of cabins around. I'm sure. And all these areas will be uh, will be booked up by the time the tournament comes. But we're here a little bit early. We're gonna you know, just go look around and just get out in the water and get a feel for everything. So uh, super excited to be down here. Good morning, guys. Uh, it's Friday morning. Um, as you can see, it's a little gloomy outside. It's raining. You know, I don't think I even told you guys what we're doing. We're actually down here at Table Rock. Uh, we're fishing a team tournament. Greg and I are fishing a anglers in action tournament. Um, we got a little bit of time between. Uh, now and the next Bassmaster Open on Cherokee, so we said, what the heck, we might as well go down fishing. Uh, we love Table Rock, we love catching, you know, these, these big spotted bass down here, large mouth, small mouth, they got all three species. And we decided to jump in. It's a, it's a guaranteed $10,000 payout for this tournament. We also get the Phoenix uh, bonus money if we, if we win, so that's an extra 7,500. So it's a big money, you know, big money uh, payout here um, if we're fortunate enough to win the tournament. So. We're gonna go try it. It actually is a one day tournament, starts tomorrow. And we're actually taking the day off. We've been down here for a few days. Uh, found a bunch of fish, you know, fishing's pretty good. It's, uh, these fish are kind of in transition. So they're not in their winter pattern. They're starting to move up. The water's warming up. The water's uh, somewhere, anywhere between, uh, you know, 47 I've seen and all the way up into the low 50s. So, you know, these fish are, are in transition mode. There's still some out deep on the bait out in 50, 60 foot. I've caught them all the way up and, you know, one and two foot on a, on a rock crawler or crankbait. So, you know, they're, they're kind of all over. You can kind of go do whatever you want, but we're going to, we're going to really uh, focus on fishing the deep timber. There's a lot of largemouth and spotted bass out in that, you know, 20 to 25 foot out on these trees. So we're going to go target those first thing in the morning tomorrow. And uh, we're just going to take the day off today. And, um, you know, it's not raining right now, but it's real gloomy and there's looks like more rain, a lot of rain, uh, came in last night and I'm, I'm assuming that the water is uh, going to be getting dirtied up. What's up guys? Morning up. Sorry if the lighting's not very good. I'm uh, actually using my phone here, but you know, we're ready to take off. I'm playing co-angler today. I'm in Greg's boat and uh, you know, we're going to go out and 
we're gonna go we got a really good game plan we're gonna go probably catch a ton of fish for you guys and you know hopefully we can run in a couple of four pounders maybe even five pounder but we actually did end up going out yesterday afternoon and got on a really good crankbait bite uh, the wind was blowing in we just hit some windy points and uh, got on a really good crankbait bite so we're gonna go do that this afternoon once that sun comes up it's supposed to be full sun today and once that sun gets up, um, you know, warms up those rocks and those crayfish and everything else starts moving around, we're gonna go up there and crank around and hopefully run into a couple big ones. We'll keep you guys posted. I'm a keeper. Oh, sh you got him? That's a big one, dude. That's a damn big one. All right. Just trolling. Not trolling, but just threw it out there. I was going to pick up this live tour. Oh yeah, number five. 
All right, well, we got a nice limit. Number five, they're not big enough, so we're gonna have to go up, but we got all day to upgrade. It's gonna be a beautiful day on Table Rock, man. This is my favorite place on earth. It's a lot of fun. We're snatching bass with Mr. Joel Willard here. Let's see what we can do.